the dojo is a place where you go to learn a martial art and just in the same way that you can't learn a martial art by learning about it in a classroom, do lectures or whatever, you need to go and live there and make it a part of your life and incorporate it. So the uh, idea of a dojo is that you're participating actively and you're bringing it into your life really. So it's not something that you're just observing or learning about from the outside, you have to actually participate and discipline yourself. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Both jets were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But it all with expert timing. Um, as you may know, we went to New Orleans on a mission trip at the end of last May. And uh, we spent a week there working on houses that were you know, damaged and destroyed in the Katrina hurricane. And uh, we had the conviction though that missions isn't just about going away and doing something for a week and then returning to our normal lives. It's far more about living uh, the idea of helping other people and, uh, and just that the way of Jesus is more than just going off and, and doing something for a week. So we wanted to really incorporate it into our lives and so we decided uh, it's going to be a semester long project. We're reading a book called uh, Practicing the Way of Jesus, Life Together in the Kingdom of Love by Mark Sandrett. And we're discussing it on a weekly basis. We made commitment though to be prepared, to read, uh, to really come with the mindset of, uh, of community and not just something that we're going to check off our list. You know, we're meeting together to try to um, really see where the needs are. And a lot of times that's right around here, right where we are. It's, uh, it's a lot more organic, I would say. It's, we're not going to really necessarily team up with an official missions organization. Uh, but we have cut out a week in May to, if we want to, if the needs that we want to meet are actually a way to go and uh, you know, travel and go help in that way. But otherwise, uh, we're going to spend that week you know, around here or wherever those needs are to really be effective. So part of our weekly discussions includes a seven-day experiment. We all decide on a seven-day experiment to do, you know, through each day before our next meeting. Sometimes it's we're going to sit in silence for 20 minutes a day to reflect on our identity and, and how that comes from God, just like Jesus spent a lot of time away, alone, away from people. Um, sometimes it's we're going to make some creative space to just do something we don't normally do. Sometimes it's that we're going to call another member of our group, you know, once a week to, to see how they're doing. Uh, every week, though, we have prayer requests that we take and uh, you pray for a specific person. It's very much more of a, a commitment. We've all decided to be part of this for the whole semester. and We've actually signed a little covenant to be committed to this experience. One reason that I'm really excited about this semester-long missional experience is that uh, it's very much active. We're going to actively uh, discern and apply a lot of teachings that Jesus has. We're not just going to discuss it, which I love discussion. It's very interesting. It's one of the reasons that I first uh, you know, fell in love with the college group at First in Calvary. But beyond discussion, it really needs to apply to your life. And so uh, I'm really glad that we're going to commit to really stretching ourselves. We've committed to be open to other people's ideas and um, and who knows where that's gonna lead. We've left it wide open. There's no safety net. So whatever we decide to to do, you know, we're gonna commit to it and we're just gonna see it through. So I'm really excited kind of about the unknown, the fact that who knows what's gonna happen, who knows what's gonna come with this.